all right welcome back this video is going to be about uh, mapping a custom domain or a new domain uh, name to your azure app services uh, so what that mean is when you create when we created our app services it came up with a name uh, in my case it was code red hyphen app service and dot azure website dot net but that's not the name you want to give it to your customer let's suppose you've launched your shopping website or you've launched some sort of e-commerce or fitness related application and you need to have a specific name www.xyz.com uh, how do you make sure that whenever uh, your customer hits that particular url your application should give you them response uh, you don't want to use this custom as your name as your website dns rather you want to use that how do you do that uh, in case if you have already got the domain like i have uh, so i have got a domain called scaleupinfra.com managed by hostinger and now your dns could be anything big raw godaddy um, any of the uh, domain name uh, provider so i've already got a domain uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bind the scaleupinfra.com right now if i do a scaleupinfra.com it doesn't show me anything it, the site cannot be reached however what i would like to is I would like to map it with my app service and whenever I hit the domain uh, it should give me this hello world response so let's see how we do that so the first thing first in the app service you go to the settings and under the settings you've got a custom domain and if you go to the custom domain you would see that there are a bunch of option to add your custom domain um, however if you are on a free tier just like me you won't be able to add any 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 custom domain because in the free tier it's not available so you go to the scale out app service plan and then um, in the scale up app service plan you can just elevate your tier from dev to production p1 v2 uh, which has got an auto scale and custom domain I'm gonna hit on apply and within a few seconds I should have the app services plan applied so there are a bunch of features uh, majority of the cool features are missing from the dev or rather the basic or free tier um, like the domain custom domain uh, SSL certificate as well auto scaling feature and all those are missing from the dev or basic tier now if I go back to the custom domain I should be able to see something and add a custom domain so if I add a custom domain uh, my name of my domain is scaleupinfra.com so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on validate and now you can validate uh, via two method a record or C name a record is uh, binded with the IP address however the C name is kind of gets binded to your um, to, uh, to alias so I need to prove my ownership of this uh, domain otherwise anybody come and type in google.com or microsoft.com and uh, how would Microsoft understand that that uh, this domain is owned by you so what you do is you click on the validate now you see that a host name is available okay that's fine however you got to prove your do uh, domain ownership so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove it with the C name pick up the txt record go back to my DNS go to my name server click on txt value would be the string and then if I go back I need to use the asud.ww. Um, if you got a subdomain uh, like www.shantanu.xyz.com, you could use this ssud. Your subdomain. In my case, I don't have a subdomain, so I'm going to type in this and just hit on the add record. All right, that's been added. So next record would be the C name record go to my azure portal pick up the c name right from here that's my value i'm gonna put it right over here and then the name which is gonna be www and i'm gonna add the record and now i'm gonna give it few seconds go back to my azure portal and i'm click on validate it's going to take a few seconds and if you just keep refreshing it should be able to 
confirm the dom domain ownership after a few seconds now you see that there's a green check which means that uh, microsoft understand this domain is now is owned by you and they can confirm that and now if i just click on the add custom domain this is going to add the www.scaleupintra.com onto the list so my custom domain is now added um, you see that the custom domain is now added if I go to the incognito mode www.scaleupinfra.com just take few seconds and then whatever responses you were getting from your Azure DNS code red hyphen the same response is now being given by the scale up infra because that's what you want you want to give a domain name which your customer can remember not some xyz dot azure web app dot com however if you see uh, it's not it's not secure at the moment because we haven't got any ssl certificate uh, so that's what we're going to do next if you go to our custom domain you already see that your website is not secure so probably you want to secure it and I am going to upload a PFX certificate. I'm going to upload the certificate. That's my certificate. Click on open and my super secret password. Hit enter, upload it, and now it's uploading the certificate. So that's been updated. Add binding. Binding is going to be, I've got only one certificate and the, it's going to be IP based or SNI based. In this case, we're going to choose it as an IP based secure certificate. And it's in the background, it's configuring the uh, certificate, also validating that whatever certificate you've given uh, has got the domain name or not. So the website is secured now. If you go to the incognito mode again, and type in scaleupintra.com you would see that non-secure button has gone and it's uh, absolutely certified by uh, zero ssl from where i've uh, purchased uh, the certificate and yeah that's about it uh, you, this is easier how it is to map a domain and um, map upload your certificate and bind with your custom domain as well so now you can just simply hand over your custom domain uh, to your customers and uh, and that's that's going to be your landing page at the branding side of your uh, of your company i hope this was informative thank you